Habis basa dengan guys semua uh, Good morning, selamat pagi untuk semua uh, Pada hari ini uh, kita bertuah lah uh, Kena bersama-sama saya On this special historic day Are two of our notable leaders in Sarawak On my right is Dato' Buli Lapo The retired Archbishop uh, uh, in Sarawak And on my left is Dato' Sri uh, Edmund Langlu And uh, today we'd just like to share a few things with you. I'll start with Datu Bodhi and uh, my question to you, Datu, is this. Uh, you are in fact a retired Archbishop and a lot of people would say that, look, you should rest and, 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 and just enjoy your retirement. Yet suddenly you came in and uh, decided to join politics, you know. Now, again, there is a notion among uh, Christians in the church. They say, look, Christians should not be in politics. It's dirty, you know. Yet, you are not only a Christian, but a church leader, a retired church bishop. You decided to come back to politics. And then you decided to join PESME, you know. A lot of people are asking, why? So I think you can respond to them. And, uh, What did you share with them as to why? <coughs> yes, right. Selamat pagi. To answer that, it's more of a personal testimony from me. And hopefully I cover uh, what you asked me to. <coughs> First of all, <coughs> When I was still in service, I was a member of what this group called a government instituted group, JKMPKA. It's a mouthful. It is a Tuatan Kuasa, Mapromov Sikan Understanding and Harmony uh, among religious adherents. So, <clears throat> I had been uh, in that group uh, where issues were discussed and uh, we concluded that it is better to continue dialogue mm. than going to court for obvious reasons. Once you get to court, one bound to win and the other mm. lose. But to keep the Malaysian character of religious tolerance, harmony, it's better to dialogue. By all means, dialogue until the cow comes out. <laughs> But it's better than you fight it out in court. So I agree to this. So I'm a strong advocate of dialogue and conversation. Now that I have retired, I expect this dialogue to be ongoing. Mm. But obviously, given the uncertain political climate of the day, people just wanting to win over their opponent, say all kind of outrageous uh, utterances. Somebody ought to object to this approach to differences. Where is the dialogue we talked about? Secondly, I thought I have been called by God to serve in the church. My time has come for me to retire, but the calling that I speak for God, again, what is dark and uh, what is unclean, mm. if you like, it is the duty of all Christians, not just me, to voice it out, something is not right. Mm. 
So I was having an option, either to keep my peace and wait for my time, or to still contribute, to encourage the community that this is what we want to be saying. Something is not right. Mm. So I chose the letter. You might have heard that the thing was to the extent that accused Kitai Daya Monohura to the extent what what do they expect? Do they expect us to keep quiet? Not to add more fuel to it? I thought we need to alert the authorities that something is wrong, it's not right. Mm. Then I was baffled that our leaders have been keeping quiet about this. Mm. I hope you know what, yeah. what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> something is wrong somewhere, we need to voice our discontent. Mm. It is the most Christian thing to do, to say, it's painful. Mm. It hurt me. Why, why can't somebody say this? I said it. I said it when the Bible was impounded. Mm. I said it when people say you cannot use the words Allah. Mm. Why, why, why can't I? We have been using it before Malaysia was even born to stop us from using it. It's not just a religious sensitivity. I think it is a language genocide. That's already in our language DNA. And you say, that's not right. Something is wrong. Again, to get over this, there ought to be dialogue. Now, all this point, that uh, you see, we, we, we hear our State leaders say, hey look, you guys in Sarawak, Sabah, this is not a problem with you. This is Samajum problem. This is of Allah issue. This is of Samajum issue, not Sabah Sabah. You can use it. Now, what is your response to this? I will, for better or for worse, Malaysia is divided by the South China Sea. Yeah. But it is still one Malaysia. Mm. What happened? in Semanjong, Malaysia is bound to get to Sarawak. So at the federal level, there must be an attitude that is taking into consideration the sensitivities of the Borneo states. That I have said what I have said. It is to the ears of our friends in Mandong Malaysia. They get on with their politics as if Sabah and Sarawak do not exist, as it were. So uh, there ought to be a constraint as we live together as a nation. That is the responsibility. The diversity must be respected. Must be not only respected, but celebrated. But don't you, you think a lot of Sarawakians in Sabahan are Indeed. working in Semenanjo? Indeed. You see, will affect it, it, is, it will affect them, you know. I had How they 20,000 yeah. in, in Johor, is it? Yeah. The, the Ibans and Sarawakians, you know. A Malaysian feeling as if he is an alien, shouldn't leaders be looking into it is our moral obligation to ensure that there is fairness, justice to all Malaysia. Well, uh, so people say that uh, uh, it's wrong for Christian to be popular. Now you make yeah. it very clear. It looks like uh, this is consistent with what we believe. Yeah. Well, you know, if if you are baptized, I'm sorry to address this to, to the church. 
as if my focus is to, but I'm talking to all Malaysians. Now, if one is baptized into a church, he's a follower of Christ, and Christ is saying to him, I'm the light of the world, now you are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. A candle. Mm. You are as if you are salt of the earth. Mm. That that's in that part. Now, that calling to me mm. is what I was called to be while in service. It's still my calling as I retire. Exactly. I cannot be any less than what I was mm. to shine, to give salt. Should I fail in that, I, I, I fail my own uh, calling, as it were. That, that's why I have chosen uh, to voice out our discontent. And I found PSP among its uh, principle is, is a centrism, meaning it, it serves all at the center. In political parties, I understand a party may advocate extreme right or extreme left. Fine. But in the church, you cannot. The church is universal, Catholic, mm. and it must be at the center. Okay. So I find in, in uh, Party Pasatu uh, one that preaches what I've been preaching about. That's why I align myself mm -hmm. to the party. Okay, Dato, um, this is the other thing that I'd like uh, you to share as well. Now, um, the, before the formation of Malaysia, the Cobalt Commission came in, they uh, uh, came to Sabasra to find out what uh, were our desire uh, towards the Forbidden Malaysia. And one of the things that they uh, uh, wanted, the forefathers, they were saying, look, uh, um, knowing that the Federation of Malaya had Islam as their official religion, they said, we want Sarawak to maintain our secularity. So they decided, look, Sarawak shouldn't have any official religion. Now, I think we are one of the states in Malaysia having no official religion. Uh, Sabah used to have no official religion as well, but then in 1973 when uh, Mustafa became the chief minister, they amended the constitution. Now they have Islam as the official religion. Now, what is your uh, uh, your take on this? Yeah. Uh, going into history, the architects of Malaysia uh, must have seen in Sarawak this diversity, mm. that the nat natives uh, were the majority, still mm. are, and that their right ought to be protected. Mm. So they must have seen that it, it, that arrangement is suitable for the peninsula of Malaysia, but cannot be enforced in, in Sarawak. Hand uh, state which is secular, mm. and that we have inherited from the past, mm. and now we realize that it is a very precious legacy, mm. which also our kin must must protect, not just one side only. We must protect that. Mm. Uh, that reflect what Sarawak is, mm. Mm -hmm. not to give way too much to A B C D. It is a secular state, period. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Dato. In fact, I just want to share with you too, uh, and with the audience as well, uh, when I moved uh, within my constituency of uh, Baklalan, uh, official visit to the schools, for example. In fact, I visited all this RK in uh, Baklalan. Interestingly, you know, when we have this function, official function, with me coming in, uh, both as, uh, as the minister then and also as the adun for them, our program starts with Christian prayer and ends with Christian prayer. 
and nobody complained. Now, to me, this is the 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 crucial aspect of Sarawak having no official region. When we visit official region being organized by whoever is our respective uh, uh, YBs in the area, the dominant belief of that area should be recognized and be accepted. And this is the good thing. And I, I want to ensure that you know, in, in our area, which is predominantly Christian uh, in Bakalaran, that our beliefs should be used and be respected in this official uh, function. So to me, that would be one of the things that we should recognize. Thank you so much, Datu, for sharing with us your thought on this uh, two aspects.